So hi everyone. Today we will learn how you can create an AI news agent using LangChain and Generative AI. So such an agent can be of great use who can scrap the internet and can fetch you news around a given topic for a given date. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to pip install a few packages. LangChain Experimental, Google Search Result, LangChain Community, LangChain, Google Gen AI, LangChain Core and JSON Repair. JSON Repair might not be required. Now basically, uh, I have already covered in a previous video how you can create a free Google API key. So you need to cover that. You need to create that. Once you are created, just pass this Google API key variable to your environment variable and set up your LLM like this. Now, once we are done, now we will move on to the core of this particular application where we would be setting up our SERP API key as well. So this is also free to create and gives you a limited number of uh, internet search results as well. So if you want to just set it up and try it out, you can try it out for free. You just need to log into SERP API dashboard. So just search for SERPAPI.com and eventually you just need to log in to get your free 100 search results. Once you create an API key, you just need to pass it here and you need to set up your environment variable. Once done, what we would be doing, we would be creating an agent with a tool and this search would be the tool. So this particular search API wrapper, as you can see, we would be using it as a tool. If you're new to the concept of tools and agents, you need to check out my previous video on how to create tools for agents. Once done, we are passing this particular search object that we have created to this particular tool wrapper and giving it a description useful for searching internet results. This description is very important because this will enable the LLM to know when to use this search API. Once done, we're passing the tools list as like this. If you have multiple tools, you can pass it as comma separated list and then initialize our agent where I'm passing the tool list and the LLM model. Now in the next part, we are customizing it a bit. I'm taking today's date. Whenever I ran this code, I ran this code somewhere in last September and then doing a minus one from that. So if today is 2nd of October, the yesterday's date would be 1st of October. And then we are passing this particular prompt. Generate all major AI news for dash with detailed explanation. Output a bullet points with dates. Output just news items and nothing else. And the format I'm passing yesterday's date. So it would be generate all major AI news for 1st of October with detailed explanation. Now, once we do it, I ran this code for 28th of September. Hence, yesterday's date was 27th September. And here you can see the output. OpenAI plans major restructuring, Google and Meta update AI models, AI assisted research uncovers NASCA, geoglyphs, etc. I cross verified all the information. It was correct at that day. Eventually you can try it out for today's date also. And one good extension to this AI news agent can be, you can also set up the SMTP protocol for sending up an email. So this can be an automated newsletter application. So that is very, very important. You just pass it a date. It will generate all the news and then automatically send a newsletter to your subscribers. So this can be a group, uh, this can be a great API key. Uh, this can be a great application to build out and have multiple use cases. I hope you try it building it out and do some extensions around it. Thank you so much.